<laughs> Good, we're rolling. Usually we're on the other side of the camera, so it's not a comfortable situation. No. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kajetan Kapuściński. I'm lead cinematic designer at CD Projekt Red. And I'm Maciej Pietras. I'm lead cinematic animator at CD Projekt Red. And this is Answered. I'm director of interactive fiction, so it's like a movie director, but working with this interactive uh, narration in which players become new actors in the scenes we're directing. So I'm doing the same, but I'm an animator. As an animator, uh, I take care of animating the characters uh, that Kaitek is directing. Uh, so we work together a lot and yeah. um, a lot, a lot. Yeah, right? so we sit together, but... <laughs> There's a distance between yeah, us. A little bit farther than now, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, yeah like we well, sit together. True. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is a cinematic episode. You can add like movie cassettes <laughs> yeah, yeah. later on, yeah. some dramatic shots. Like that's gonna be us. Who starts? Well, you start. Okay, so yeah, I guess. But that's that's gonna be for you. I, I, I know. ask question. Yeah. You. Are you ready? Never. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. What is the funniest event you can recall during your time at the Project Red? One of the funniest things that happened to me was uh, when we were shooting um, um, Witcher expansion and uh, there was this uh, Wicht creature. Mm -hmm. So we had this kind of like creature movement and it was really animalistic. And the actor was like, oh, I can do it. And the movement and we're like, ah, no, that's going to happen. And then he did it for the entire day. It's, it wasn't super, it's not a super funny story, but actually it was the most fun I had to see actors perform in this, you know, pretending to be an animal. If someone would like to start doing your job, what would you recommend them to do? I would say like invest time into learning about narrative and direction, but not only movie direction, but uh, like narrative direction, art direction, basically how to tell emotional stories. Because like games are just a medium and that's a medium we chose basically. So there is a lot of technical knowledge, a lot of things you have to, you have to learn practically, but in the end it all comes down to this question of what is the story you're telling and how do you want like viewers, players and so on feel about it. So you have to know that first. You have to have stories to tell and that, that's something I would focus on. And then all the technical stuff, everything, like you can learn that. So in terms of the discipline things, in terms of management, then be kind. I would say be kind. What is the most rewarding part of your job? Oh, it's two things. Oh, it's the same thing, but from different angle. Is that whatever I consider most rewarding would be that when the moment when I see people's hard work in the game and the game is fun at the same time, right? If, if, we, if people are improving in their work and then it ends up in a game and they and you can actually play it and it's they have actual, you know, people have actual reactions, it's amazing. It's a, I think it's the most rewarding thing ever, yeah. Cool. Kajtek. Maciej. What is the best game ever? But the video game or like uh, game? Game, it was just a game. It was the best, best game. game ever. I would say hide and seek. No, but really, like if I think games, I think about childhood and right. playing hide and seek. Right. That was awesome. Yeah. Like you imagined a lot of stuff. You play the game. Rules were simple. Hide and seek. <laughs> That's so odd. Awesome. That's really cool. Though. People we ha have in the team are of di different backgrounds, different ideas, you know, they, they bring something to the table which mm -hmm. is unique and that's super cool because sometimes you feel that the solution you have in your mind is like the, this is the solution, this is the way, you cannot do it otherwise. And then people challenge that, people say their own op uh, opinions on it and if you witness that like, okay, this work as well, this is also cool and that makes you that keeps you going, like, okay, I, I have to seek for the best one and I have to work with them, they, they can improve everything I do. So I think they are inspiring. That's very cool. Because like people are inspiring, right? Like I, one of the reasons why like, we hire people who are better than us is the reason we want different perspectives and yeah. we want those people to inspire you as well. Yeah. 
as you go along, right? Because that's that's the best part about working with people who are around you. That you like I always assume they're just better than me, and that gives me additional drive. Yeah. What was the most difficult thing about the recruitment process for you? It was a long time ago, and I got recruited very fast. But the difficulty was, I don't, I didn't really know what I was going for. Hmm. Like you know, we changed that now. People know a lot more about what we do, how we do it, when they join the recruitment company. Back then. Yeah. In the old days, I can relate. We were that, yeah. not, you know, I had no clue what I was no, doing. <laughs> we had not really, yeah. you know. Sometimes I question myself. Yeah. Would I be hired now? I question every day. Yeah. Every That's day. That's the difficult question. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would hire myself right now. Yeah, me too. I don't know if I would hire yeah. you. 